Turning now to national news, President Trump is receiving pushback after saying he took North Korean leader Kim Jong-un at his word that he did not know about the mistreatment of Otto Warmbier that led to his death. Yeah, this comes out. The president has decided to end major joint military exercises with South Korea. Fox News correspondent Ray Bogan is in Washington with what happens next. After the Trump-Kim summit in Vietnam, the parents of an American college student who died after being imprisoned in North Korea have strong words for North Korea's leader. North Korea returned Otto Warmbier to the United States in a vegetative state. He died shortly after. President Trump said he believes Kim Jong-un's claim that he wasn't aware of how Warmbier was being treated. But Warmbier's parents are firmly placing the blame on Kim Jong-un, saying his, quote, evil regime are responsible for unimaginable cruelty and inhumanity. The president clarifying on Twitter, writing, quote, of course I hold North Korea responsible. I love Otto and think of him often. At the same time, the Pentagon is suspending the annual large-scale war games with South Korea. North Korea has pushed for the suspension of joint military drills in fear of a U.S. attack. The cancellation comes a day after the president called the military exercises very expensive. The military exercises, uh, I gave that up quite a while ago because it costs us $100 million every time we do it. We fly these massive bombers in from Guam. And when I first started, uh, a certain general said, oh, yes, sir, we fly them in from Guam. It's right next door. Well, right next door is seven hours away. In addition to the high cost, Two U.S. defense officials tell Fox News the threat from North Korea has decreased since the two summits. Smaller exercises will continue. In Washington, Ray Bogan, Fox News.